Welcome back to another episode of uh, How to Use Construction Tools with Freshwater Joe, Salty Alley. Today, my friends, as you can see, the shop is actually starting to take shape. We're up here in Seekonk, and uh, the boys have been busy uh, while we were just kind of hanging out today. I didn't really get much of anything done, but we're up here now. It's kind of later in the afternoon, and you can kind of see the layout of the store right now. It's actually really starting to come together. You can actually start to picture what the shop is gonna look like when it's finished. Gondolas are in the set position. We kinda got the tanks where they're going, the register draw where it's going, the planning tanks. Um, it's all starting to come together. I mean, look but at these tanks. I know, those are awesome. I'm so excited about those. Water box 165.6 frags. So they're six foot, six foot frag tanks. Basically the 220 just chopped in half. So four of those for our plants. But today, the main reason of this video, we're putting the, uh, we're not putting it up, we're putting it together, the PVC for the fish wall. So, I'll show you how we do it. Stay tuned, I guess, right? Maybe. If you want, you can leave the video now, like normal, or you can watch to the end. Might be something cool. I didn't do as what I was expected to. First piece is done. As you can see here, it's probably gonna be hard for you, but I have kind of like each section where the tanks are going to be kind of marked out, I, although I just wiped it all over my hands. And each tank has three sponge filters. So we have two on top of each other. So this PVC pipe is gonna be above and it's run for all levels of the tanks. Two are for the middle one, two here for the right one, and two here for the left one. So that's basically how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna make Ali painfully wrench in every single, well, I just hit the ceiling, every single tap while I drill the rest. Stay tuned. Great. Thanks. For the tears. Have fun. So this is called an airline tap. And I have to now go through and screw them into every single little hole he drilled here. And this is where the airline goes on. So this is what we would attach. Sorry about the black. I just had to paint yet and again another tank today. But it, it's, a, it's an awesome display tank, so I'm excited about it. But uh, anyway, so you put the airline tube right onto here. And then this allows you to adjust how much air is going through so that we don't way over, <laughs> over bubble the tanks and make water go all over. All over the place? All over the place. <laughs> so that's adjustable so we can turn it down, turn it up, or do whatever we have to do. And if you've ever done anything with airline tubing and air like this, then you would know that if they're not all kind of properly adjusted where they need to be, sometimes some will be off, some will be on too high. So you kind of have to play around with it once we get them all on there and make sure that they're all About just the adjusted speed. in at the, at the same speed so that they work properly. So let's get going and let's do this. <laughs> you would think this was my first time or something. It's gonna well, be a long if we night. had the right drill bit, Allie. Me? You're the one who lost it at the old store. You're the one that told me not to get a new one. Oh, this will be fine. Three weeks later. Probably will. I can't even get this one in. I'm telling you, you guys better show up once this place opens for all the painful, painstaking hours it's going to take me to screw these in.
I got the two in, first two in, fine. Last time I did this with the wrong size drill bit, where it's like just a little bit tad bit too, tad bit too small, I got blisters on my hands. So crossing the fingers, that doesn't happen this time. These taps, uh, you wouldn't believe if how much a, I don't know, like a one thirty fourth of an inch of a drill bit makes a difference for these to a little self tapping bits to go in. But we're making progress. How's it going, Allie? Who who's making progress? Because the shirt's not me. I've gotten two in so far. Joe did the rest. I think he should just do all of them. Come on, you got this. I get it, and then it and then it just and it does that. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. I'm having flashbacks to the old store. That took what days to get all those done? Yeah, days. Days. At least it's not as many. Mind you, the drill bit we were using then was even smaller than this. So I had to like go in and like work it around to make it big enough for, for these to fit. So Anyway, uh, I got to start drilling the, the other two. Boring stuff. We'll come back after it's done. Wait, you guys busted my balls? Oh! <laughs> oh! I was like, I don't think I put it in my car. <laughs> Big 220 display water box are coming into the store right now. Allie's still working. The whole crew's here. Time to lift some heavy, heavy tanks. I'm pretty excited right now. <laughs> what are you feeling? How are you feeling, Joe? Little you know, Joseph Joe. Little Joseph. <laughs> Look at all the fish tanks. They're just everywhere, little fresh Joe. <laughs> all right, guys. So most of almost every single tank is in now. The 220s are here. We just need the peninsulas, which are coming in next week on the water box shipment. Uh, most of the taps are screwed in, and the crews decide to quit early, go get some Outback. So that's the... Uh, Tradition up here now, I guess. Out back at the Seacock store. Store is coming together. Thank you guys so much for again joining another episode of Ocean Aquatic TV. Allie? Keep on reefing, baby. No, keep it fresh! I was trying to take a picture. Oh. <laughs>